Let's go. Hey everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Turns out I do have a quick idea for this week's video, which vibes I guess. With the first two episodes of Queendom Puzzle completing the auditionish section, I thought that I could review the performances and rank them out of 10. There isn't much to preface this besides the fact that this is an opinion and so we obviously could have different ideas and rankings of how we thought the performances were. My criteria is out of four in terms of performance performance, out of four in terms of skill, and then out of two in terms of whether they have the it factor. But yeah, before I start, I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel. But without further ado, let's start off this review. <laughs> Dora's performance was so unfortunate. From the costume mishap to her dancing feeling a little stiff, it just felt like she's been feeling the effects of being on a hiatus for too long, causing her to look a little rusty. Considering her queendom appearance, we know that she can do that thing, and so this is definitely not the end or be all. But for this performance, Dora gets a 3. <laughs> The after school side of Zoa's performance was really cute and brought back the vibes that we've been missing from Weekly but I don't know if that section was as necessary for the overall performance. The dancing wasn't as in sync after that skateboard section and then there was no singing I don't think. The second half of it was a bit better and showed a new side to her. Definitely a decent start but also I can see that there is room for improvement which I'd still be keen to see. Zoa gets a 5. Jiwoo was amazing compared to her My Teenage Girl days. I only remember her all for the wrong reasons during that era and so to see her shine in this performance, it was great to see. Her performance was able to show her skills well but the whole strong image wasn't completely embodied just quite. Interested to see how far she can go and for that Jiwoo gets a 6. <laughs> Suyeon's performance was alright. Picking the song is so risky because it's Taemin. But she was really able to keep up with the choreo side of it. The singing though kind of threw me off not gonna lie. It was a bit too high and made the performance a slight struggle to watch and even hear because I kind of wanted to remove my earphones from how high it was getting. She's got potential though but maybe the song wasn't the best fit for her. Suyeon gets a 5.5. .5. Nana was amazing. I think, once again, it's really hard to cover a Taemin song, but she really held her own and made it look a bit more effortless. Her dance skills was really up there and she was able to back it up with the vocals too. Overall, the most technically best and legitest performance at this point, and so Nana gets an 8. <laughs> I mean, she is the moment. Cheon really brought her all with the performance aspect to the song and it all felt even more effortless once again. I really don't have much to say, real little issues that I noticed and just overall amazing to see her in her zone. Cheon gets an 8.5. <laughs> Fire was pretty cool. She really displayed all three skills to a varying degree. Only the rapping was kinda not the best. The diction was not that clear for me, but her voice was real unique. Her dance might not be the best technique wise, but she was pretty groovy and does have potential. Fire gets a 6.5. <laughs> The way they portrayed the out of tune high note and bam, all these downvotes. Overall, Rena had a decent performance. Interesting contrast to perform Rose Blossom to pop, but she was able to overcome this with facial expressions. But yeah, obviously that high note was a bit unfortunate, but still, her vocals were amazing before that. So Rena gets a 6.5. <laughs> Ji 
Jian really picked a song that fit her so well. There will obviously be a slight bit of comparison between her and Rina, just because they performed the same song. But yeah, another effortless performance. The right amount of energy where it doesn't feel like she's trying and kind of instead embodies the song. Jian gets an 8.5. <laughs> Performing this in front of the original artist, I wouldn't want to do the song injustice. But at the same time, it was clear as day when Uyon went to lip syncing. She did real decent besides the whole avoiding all the high notes, but because of this, you can clearly tell there's a bit of room for improvement or just kind of picking the right songs. Uyon gets a 4.5. Yorum had a good performance, and I really love the different performance aspects within it. The dancing was real good and enhanced the performance by showing what she can do. However, the singing was real 50-50. Like, there wasn't anything wrong with it, but I don't know if I necessarily vibed with the lightness of the song throughout this whole time. But still, it was a great performance, and so Yorum gets a 6.5. This was actually like musical vibes, full of legitness, and once again, popping as one of the best performances of episode 1. The only minor thing is, I would have enjoyed it an extra like teeny bit more if they added more dancing, but in saying that, I would rather Bora do this live than get her to do more dancing. Bora gets a 9.5. Really loved the performance, as Jiwon was able to put her own spin to the song. There definitely might be some bias because she covered Chang'a, but I can still clock some slight awkward moments, but nothing that disrupted the flow of the performance. Skill-wise, she showed a good amount to an extent where I'd be keen to see what's to come from her. Jiwon gets a 7. <laughs> Judy's performance was alright. Respectfully, nothing special, but still turned out pretty decent. Did notice a few things that kinda needs to be worked on, but it's been a while since I've heard Judy. Also, it's kinda been great to see the evolution of her. Judy gets a 5.5. <laughs> Yonhee really nailed the performance aspects to this. From the costume change to the dance break, it really was a great performance. I'm not sure if there was any vocal issues, but something really minor slightly felt off, but not enough to drastically reduce anything. Yonhee gets a 6. Damn. They really cut Soen's performance. And for what? Overall, a good performance. She was able to utilize her dance skills well, but it's unfortunate that they cut the dance break, which kind of encapsulates the whole her utilizing her skills. But also, I didn't get hit with impact just quite, but there is potential. Soen gets a 6. <laughs> Sujin's performance started off pretty interesting, but then it kind of reverted to the original performance, which, not gonna lie, real basic. I knew that Sujin was popular during her mix 9 days, so I thought she would hit a bit harder, but it's a good foundation for her to pop off soon. Sujin gets a 5.5. Yeah, I don't know really what to say about this. Soyun didn't really have a standout bad moment, but it just wasn't giving idol, I guess. In saying that, they'd recently debuted 70 days ago from the time that it was airing, and so I can understand-ish why it may not be as clean as the others, but based on this performance, Soyun gets a 2. <laughs> I think Miru had a decent performance. Like, obviously, it's been a while since she's been in Korea, and things have kind of evolved, but she gave a great performance, considering all that. There is a bit of work to be done, but she's improved so much within Produce 48, and so Queendom Puzzle is achievable too. Miru gets a 4.5. <laughs> 
Yuki's performance started off well, and then it low-key felt like the energy was slowly dwindling, or at the minimum being maintained. Lyric mistake aside, which wasn't even that bad, this performance was the first of many, and so definitely excited to see more from her. Yuki gets a 5.5. Pick the right songs, and honestly, it's just a vibe from there. Sangha suited both songs so well that it felt like she was getting easy points. She was in her element, and besides the initial lyric mistake, her charisma carried the performance and made her look so great. Sangha gets a 6.5. <laughs> That helicopter fake out though. Another great performance from Ye. Her stage presence did not disappoint. Everything she was doing just felt like she was performing at another music program. Like, that's how confident and vibey it felt. Seeing the three rappers perform consecutively, I can see that it's gonna be a strong competition for sure. Ye gets an 8.5. Heyeon's performance was pretty alright. Loki, only thing I enjoyed was the contrast between the two songs. The first part was giving Triple S's Soyun vibes before changing to the second part, which I thought was gonna include singing, but I think it was more of like a dance break before it abruptly ended. She's left the show, so I don't know if it matters too much, but Heyeon gets a three. <laughs> Ali was in between having the right amount of energy to the bare minimum amount of energy, but still did decent overall. No glaring issues, it was a good change up from what she's known for, but also not sure if it really displayed her talent. Ali gets a 5. This Chang'e appreciation from the Cherry Bullet girls makes me so happy. But yeah, Cherin kinda didn't do as well. Progressively, the execution kinda fell apart. She didn't really match the energy of the song, and so it felt underwhelming. She's one of the only few to not have participated in a survival program, so there's that. But yeah, Cherin gets a 3. This was a real change up from the Jewy that we knew. The performance was really good and showed the evolution that she's been going through. Damina might be a slight problem for her, but also a few others because I'm noticing that the energy starts to deplete towards the end. But yeah, still excited for Jewy's journey as an independent idol. She gets a 5. <laughs> Probably my favorite performance for episode 2. She really brought her A game. She's got the vocals and charisma on lock. And so hopefully we see her continue to garner more attention. Hiso gets a 9.5. <laughs> And finally, we have Ke, who was giving Yeun vibes, and that they were untouchable because they were senior as, and then they picked great songs for themselves. Like, that combo alone is enough to make the performance legit. Not sure whether it's because the song wasn't my vibe, but I can still subjectively look at the performance and kind of know that it was really great. Care gets an 8. Final thoughts. Here is my ranking for the auditions. What do you think of my ranking? And also thoughts on the episodes? I haven't been able to watch the full episodes of 1 or 2. I've only gone on the Mnet's YouTube channel to watch and review the performances, which might be my plan considering how busy I'm getting. So might be kind of out of the loop, but oh my gosh. The edits that I've seen though, like the way that Yuki, Sangha, and Yeon are the rap judges. And so if you see them quote unquote pressed down, that means you know you messed up. Same goes for vocals with Bora and Ke. Then we also have some slight different rivalries, which I'm not sure how far they're going to go with these. Like Cherry Bullet and Rocket Punch. There was a slight one with Jihan and Rina performing pop. And then I want to say maybe even a slight one with Nana and Taeyeon. But also... <laughs> 
kind of Jayan against the world too. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts on the first round of performances, any new contestants that you're rooting for, and just any Queendom puzzle related thoughts. Just a little side note, would you want reviews based on each episode's performances or based on each collective whole rounds? My next video is kind of up in the air. I've kind of made a slight start on my filler members for third gen edition, but there's a bit more to go. That should be coming out within the next two weeks. So please like and subscribe to keep up to date, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.